and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Azorius Legends. So before we tried a Mono Blue Legends deck last week or sometime in, in the past week or so, and it didn't quite work out. Um, the goal of the deck was to uh, take advantage of Mox Amber and um, you know use it with a whole bunch of three mana Planeswalkers that you can have in the blue colors. And basically Mox Amber's weakness has been that not only can, like you can't use it right away you can't use it in the early game you can only use it in the late game but then or like the mid to late game but then in the mid to late game that addition of the one extra mana hasn't really been worth a card an entire card like mox amber is so that's why mox amber hasn't um really broken out like people were really excited whenever the card was previewed however we're going to be trying to uh, we're still going to be trying to do that. So that's what our mono blue deck was doing. But the problem was our, we just didn't have interaction that was any good. And we couldn't really slow down opponents enough. And, um, you know, it was it was a little too rough there. So we're adding in white to get better interaction. So we have Baffling End for a good removal spell, Cleansing Nova for a sweeper. And, of course, we have the two Teferis that are both very strong as well. But the reason why we want Mox Ambers here is we're, we're trying to take advantage of the Mox in the mid game to go from having like three and four mana, uh, like playing these uh, mid-game Planeswalkers to to ramp in with the Mox to ramp into Karn's Temporal Sundering and Nexus of Fate um, and take all of the turns. So like something that's, that is very valuable is that extra mana to get into the late game for these very powerful spells. Uh, these spells are, are so good that they're worth like, you know, two cards of, of spending, you know, basically. So... Um, that's what we're doing here. We're playing moxes and time walks. You know, we're we're playing magic like it's 1993 here, with just moxes and time walks in our deck. And so we're gonna see how it goes here with white. Um, you know, I tried it mono blue to start with because I wanted to just uh, wanted you know wanted to do that even though I thought the blue I would probably be better. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't quite good enough. So we're going blue white, and we're gonna see if it's good enough now um this deck should be called mox walks that's kind of hard to say mox walks uh but yeah that's what we have we have we have our power nine you know our mox ambers and our and our time walks our power nine cards all right let's give it a try azorius legends all right so today on our sunday fun day stream we're heading on over to our traditional constructed queue all day Seeing if we can get to five wins. This is the kind of deck that either, you know, like some people are not going to like this kind of deck, like where it is very, very controllish. So we're not going to be winning games too fast. But yeah, next is not two man. It's not, it's not OG time walk, not OG mox, you know, any of them. Uh, you know, like Mock Sapphire. But they're still pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this 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 deck is pretty fun to pilot, but yeah, this would not be a, that fun of a deck to play against. <laughs> Tomorrow's a Maniac Monday. Maybe it's a, a mundane Monday. Gotta be thinking blue. Got our Tranquil Cook. Our tranquil coves in here to gain a life. Uh, this is the kind of deck that we are going to struggle against in general. A deck that's playing a whole bunch of counter spells. This is not a matchup I really want to face. Now, I need to get this Teferi to resolve, of course. How to get it to resolve is is a is a problem, but I need to get it to resolve. Let's start with a Narset. Just kind of throw this out for bait for a counter spell. Next turn we can double spell with the baffling ends. The focused and disciplined and can keep an open mind. Hmm.
Brian Bourne Cutthroat. So I'll have sideboard. I have like some Dovin's vetoes and a spell Pierce. Those don't really stop Frilled Mystic though. This was overwhelming. We can't play enchantments on their turn. I don't have any instant speed stuff, and that's the thing about playing against the instant speed deck, is you really do need a lot of instant speed stuff, and I just don't have any instant speed stuff. So this is pretty tough for me. Yeah, seal, seal away would certainly have been better for me. So we have to hope that they don't attack Narset and they don't have Counterspell. Hmm, that's probably not happening. <laughs> yeah, they should have, yeah. Teferi Time Rattler should, should say this spell can't be countered. Uh, I, I agree. Much to learn. Just have to do this to stay alive, of course. Reverse. Not staying alive. Let's see. Yeah. 
Fortunately, we're going to have to just kind of cut back on some of the different things my deck's trying to do. Mm. All right, let's give this a try. Ideal. No inter cheap interaction. Come on, Blue Kitty. Help us out here. Yeah, I was I was definitely considering playing bindings instead of some of the Jaces. I thought maybe we need the card advantage, but I mean. Getting stuff to resolve is tough, though, of course. Gotta hope they just have creature and not counter magic. This isn't a fight you can win. Binding would look a whole lot better than a Jace Might right be now. Because I don't have a way to protect this to Fairy now. I mean, it could have ticked up, but. I don't know if ticking up's really worth it. Are they your memories? Or mine? Decisions, decisions, decisions. I would have just. So yeah, if I would have ticked up, they would have been able to attack for two to put the Teferi down to three and then play another creature and likely kill the Teferi and have, you know, like a, an, an extra creature in play. That's a good card. So we can play Nexus on their turn. It's a good one. And we have four in the graveyard right now, thanks to the the J starting to fill our graveyard. Well played. Hmm. Her hand must not have been very good. Jay said well played and they thought the game was over. I like this island art. This island art is sweet. Be cooler if it was card style full art. For sure. It's still a good one. I 
And we need blue kitty. Got our uncommon elemental cat. There's no real trick. You just, just go to the advanced filters. There's a spot to be able to choose basic lands in there. Yeah, we got magic for 12 hours today. We're two hours in to our 12-hour stream. We've drawn too many lands here. Yeah, keep drawing spells. I love a good There's always an answer. I need to deal with this ambusher somehow. All right, not good. Ugh. Not good for us at all. I'll plan better next time. Gotta draw Cleansing Nova. No. Cleansing Nova or Lyra. Still in it. I won't hide from the world any longer. Hmm. Yeah, 
If they have any creature here, I die if I tick up to fairy and don't find anything. Not so fast. I'll count as a creature. We need to move quickly. I definitely kind of feel like they have a counter spell. So we're gonna make them counter it on their turns. So they don't get it, a wolf. Oh, dang it. Should have cast this in the second main, so that thing didn't trigger. I don't know, does this still... Okay, cool. The amb night pack ambusher fizzled. You know what? I'm not done yet. Uh, yep, we're dead. Close game, close game. I should have been playing more sweepers and less Lyras, I suppose. I should have played search and not the land, but oh well. Yeah, we were dead there. We were at six. We gained five with the block. We take. Oh, wait, the first strike, though, because it makes the wolves the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I forgot about the wolves going to 2-2s. Two oh, my gosh, I wasn't dead. Oh, no, yeah, I was dead because they just played the other night pack ambusher. Right, yeah, they, they played the, the night pack ambusher that they, they, they drew that we knew about, and it was still their wolves are still 3-3s. Three yeah, we were dead. Yeah, this this hand is real really good if we just draw lands. <laughs> so we'll see if we draw lands. We got a bunch of lands in here. Ah, the old turn three search risk can't uh, right on time. Got twenty six in this deck. Oh no, I only have twenty four. Never mind, I don't have as many lands as I thought I did. Especially after playing that last game. Show remorse. I'll show restraint. I'll protect you. Draw more cards. Hmm. Getting rid of their field of ruin early. Not gonna wait for Ascanta. May need a double black 
or something. Don't worry, I got this. I know any they hone your prowess. Violence is upsetting. Let's I can no longer stand by and watch. Not with that attitude, you can't. Here goes nothing. I'd like to take another turn, bounce this to fairy. you graveyard this one trust me keep up the pace no I am not making this up as I go all right we're in a better spot now I know my responsibility. You need to slow down. Yeah, Grand. Um, I think the thing to do... Yeah, you just started playing, and you are you want to craft some cards, but not sure exactly what to craft. I think the thing to do is you kind of have to... You kind of have to pick... Um, I'm up for a challenge. I, I want to draw this to Fairy, so we're going to just mill them over too. Cavalier Gales and Hero of Precinct one. Interesting. I'd like to stay out of this, but I'll fight if I must not try. Kind of to pick a deck that you like and, and kind of build towards that. You know, kind of to instead of just like crafting random cards for, for random decks Hold and everything. Um, we do have rotation in two months. If you don't know about that, where in two months we're going to have a lot of cards are going to exit standard and a lot of new cards will enter. The format will look quite a bit different. Let's try this. Sorry, I'm late. Respect nature, and it will offer assistance. Let's try this. I'll take an extra turn. We'll bounce the bell hunt. Making the 4 4 to kill the Teferi with. Yeah, the next, the next time we have a set released, which is going to be in the fall, in. Uh, late late September likely maybe early October uh, at that time there's going to be rotation happening um, which means that uh, let's see what's in standard that's a good site that tells you like what what sets what cards will be in standard and everything but um, all the cards from Ixalan Rivals of Ixalan Dominaria and M19 will all be leaving the format. And so we'll just have Guilds of Ravnica forward, the five sets, the four that are currently in standard right now, plus the fifth set in the fall. All right, so obviously Elder Spell is a huge beating that we do not want to see. We are hoping not to see Elder Spell.
Hazer Tails. Yeah, M20 yeah, M19 is going to leave with Dominaria and and Ixalan. I'm pretty sure I said M19 whenever I said those sets. Yep, no check lands. Oh, the website is wrong. Hmm. That was the worst possible car that we could see. The hero precinct one. It's like it's certainly one card I'm scared of. Hmm. Us not drawing lands is also a problem. predictions five more temples and mana confluence i don't think we're gonna have the temples because the temples are um you know like the the temples are from oh where are they at oh, the only set i can remember now is journey to nyx um what's the plane that the temples are at all right this is a problem theros thank you they're from Theros, and, and we've been told that we are not going to Theros, that we're going to be going to a brand new set, a brand new place. So I don't think we're going to get the temples. But the temples can go in the core set, though, because core sets can just have anything. You know, like they, They're not really tied to any specific theme or anything like that. Hmm. I mean, we have land drops this time. If they're just playing, like, discard spells, it could be good for us. We could try this. I know this hand doesn't do anything right now, but I'm glad we get to hit land drops, and then we're just going to draw the Planeswalkers off the top. They're going to make me discard some of these crappy cards. No, not Hero. I was hoping since they had their, their hero game last game that they weren't going to have another hero game. That was the hope. All right, so I'm just I'm not going to minus the Narset. Darn. I'm going to make it harder for them to kill the Narset. This is overwhelming. I have reached my limit. So this will let me cast Nexus. Let's go graveyard though. It's not ideal. That was not ideal. <laughs> that was maybe my worst draw. 
yeah, that was that was probably the worst. Like, yeah, I guess that or Mox Amber would have been my worst cards to draw. That was a lot better card to draw. Get rid of that clock. I train and meditate and prepare. Commence the end game. All right, we're not in the worst spot right now. Ugh, just hoping they don't find counter magic. Cool. Narset missed. That's good for us. All right, commence the end game cannot be countered. Nexus on their turn. Never mind, countering that thing. Wanted Nexus on their turn to give me two turns in a row. That's game though. We need to find any any planeswalker. You know, we need a three mana planeswalker, I guess. There. Hmm. All right, well, let's give this one another run. Let's go one more run here with this deck. Start over. So win O2. Let's give this a try. Blue Kitty's not helping. <clears throat> All right, perfect. Prove your skills, and I can teach you even more. The temporal sundering here. Did you do a Simic Flash? Uh, I haven't played it yet. That's down to the. That's gonna be our last deck to play today. You see, we're going down the line here with our decks. I yeah, you can always find. Better. You can find the link to all the decks there on the Stream Decker page. Mortals are so reckless. Um. Hmm. Do not challenge a raging river. One short from the Temporal Sundering. Hopefully they don't get a, 
Hopefully I don't kill Mu Yan Ling here. Playing against kind of a jankier deck here, though. Your presence darkens my sky. Bow to the howling wind. All right. Our power nine. We get our mocks. Our time walk. Don't have any of our five mana to fairies or jaces or anything to get like a lot of card I advantage. My responsibility. I've got time. Right now, the the goal here is to tick up Mu Yanling one more time to eight emblem her and have that islands you control have tap draw card. That's an incredible ult ultimate. That's what we're trying to do here. That's a good card. Hey, the farmer. Yeah, I think I think you're right. I think we're playing against a blood for bones, reanimate deck. That's probably a good call there. With the instigator. Yeah, Otha Teferi. Hmm. We need to just draw another card. That's more like it. There we go. The biggest problem with Oath of Teferi is you know, you need to actually untap or you know, have your, your planeswalkers and everything, but Yeah, I like Oath of Teferi quite a bit. All right, emblem time. Open your mind to the possibility Draw card. Of the cosmos. Draw card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw card. Take another turn. Draw card. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. We can refill our hand. Take another turn. All right, let's see. I guess we just kind of lead with this again. I guess maybe it's better to go Narset. I guess Narset looks at four cards. We're like looking for Nexus. I have practiced against men. Keep an open mind. I'm not, I guess I can draw one more. Okay, no Nexus. So let's just get Big Teferi in here. I am not. No time for a break. We'll add blue. Here we go. Replay the Mox, get another mana, play the Oscanta. Yeah, we got a 12 hour stream today. Yeah, so our islands have tap draw card. So it does include like, oh, that thing's big. 
That does include like Hallowed Fountain. That's an island. <laughs> yeah, I'm planning on eating today at some point. I had some. I had a couple bowls of cereal before the stream. Stop that now! All right, I imagine we're gonna take the rest of the turns. No, yeah, we're definitely taking the rest of the turns. All right, so let's shuffle this back in. All right, now we minus. I have just the trick for this. Here goes nothing. Hurry! Our poor opponent. They're not going to get another turn. Well, I guess it's possible they do. It's not very likely. How do we actually win games with this deck again? Oh yeah, Jace. We're gonna mill ourselves out. Thanks, Jelly. Have I not played a, a land yet? Um, yeah, doesn't matter. All right, discard you, 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 you. I uh, already discarding you, you, uh, you. Oh, right, I could, yeah, you're right, I could untap two islands and get the card draw. I forgot about the, the whole card draw thing. I could have just done that. All right, shuffle it back. I'm not even going to take up the Time Raveler. I'm not going to waste time doing that. Quickly. All right, draw six more cards. And then go and discard them all. Just like self milling here. You, 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 you. More self milling. Speed this up. Hurry. Down to eleven. Down to eight. Okay. All right, our deck did something. Our deck did stuff. That was cool. Time for game two. Ugh. No, you can't you can't really mill out with Nexus in your deck. I mean, if you have all your Nexuses in your hand, then you can mill out. 
that's like the only way to mill out with Nexus in your deck. So we need another land to start to start with. Looks like we're not getting there. This canto will help us get there. All right, they're going wide over there. Right on schedule. Two twos will kill you. Might be a bad idea. Certainly a thing. Two twos will kill you. I've got it. Not a reason, there just hasn't been a reason to play the Mox Amber yet. Haven't been able to use that extra mana for it. We're looking for Cleansing Nova. Dang, I'm dead. Um, I needed at least a land. A land would have let us stay alive. Yeah, like we would have been good to go with the land, but because uh, land we get temporal sundering. We didn't find a land either. Um, I think we're dead. That's more like it. Yeah, didn't get the land. I mean, I could, I could Teferi bounce, hit a baffling end, like best case scenario, but that doesn't save me. Good game. Yeah, if you can't hit land drops, you're going to die. That's how standard is. I guess we'll just play more of these Cleansing Novas, I suppose. Less of these Time Ravelers. Yeah, we'll go three and three. <laughs> I mean, this is basically just like last time. Last hand, I kept two lands, and, you know, the mox doesn't really count as a land, but I kept two lander, and we couldn't draw lands. All right, here we go. We got... We got lands this time, so we're good. All right, let's go with no Narset. No Narset. We got our anti two two tribe two two tribal card with the Moo there. Start ticking up. Try to get to that ultimate again. Yeah, I don't have Urza's Ruinous Blast because I found the games that I lose, I lose to like the creatures 
that um, they you know, like they they kill your planeswalkers and everything, and it's it's hard to like actually have a, a planeswalker in play with them having a bunch of creatures, yeah. and then also and then untap and be able to ruin a blast. I'm known for my excellent type. Let's try this. I'm gonna just play this other Escanta and get another card in the graveyard. Welcome here. Here we go. The sky is my domain. All right, I want to put Nexus back before we minus with Narset. Meditate and prepare. Challenge a raging river. I've got time. All right, now we're going to be able to ultimate Mu Yanling. I don't have any. I'll protect you. There we go. I say I don't have any islands to tap, but now we do. Knowledge feeds the mind as rivers feed the sea. This deck is silly. Um. Learn some respect. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Play Narset first. If you wish to surrender now, I understand. Oh, I messed this up. I only had two extra mana, not three. Oh man, I messed this up. Thoughtfulness before action. Well then. Saved by Mox, Mox Amber. Forty cards. Keep an open mind. Unfortunately, double double Mu Yanling doesn't really do anything. I am humbled by the sky's divine. Trust me, I have a plan. I tap all those things. Make sure they tap those. We have all of our islands. Draw some cards. Hmm. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we get three draw steps. First, before we can still we could still cast Nexus. Okay, so no Nexus. Let's see if this thing turns into a Nexus. No, 
I am not making this up as I go. No. All right, so we'll just play our cards out like normal. Bow to the howling winds. We're not taking the next turn. We can figure our opponent's going to get one. There's always an answer. All right, they get a turn. Ugh. This is 1993 magic over here. Moxes and time walks. Yeah, it's not... This is a very mean deck. It's hard to get this deck going, though. You know, like, this isn't the... As we saw, you know, like, we went 0-2 in that other league. It's hard to get it going. I guess I'm supposed to just keep mulliganing these two land hands. Yeah, like, we're not... I don't have enough lands in this deck. It's one thing I've noticed. I, I need a 25th land in this deck. I don't, I don't really know why I only have 24, because I thought I had 26. But looking at the deck list, it only says 24. I don't know why I only have 24 in here. I need like another land or two. Yeah, counter spells, yeah, counter spells are like our weakest thing that I get. Like that's our that's our weakness, is counter spells. Our biggest weakness. That is. Let's see if we can draw some lands from here. And so yeah, the the Simic we played against the Simic Flash deck, lost three, played against the Esper, lost in three. The counter spells were were rough. I guess what would make this deck fun is is you're almost assuredly gonna die, and you're just hoping you don't die. You're seeing if you can stay alive. Card's good against a fairy time raveler. This is a matchup where Teferi Time Raveler is gonna be sideboarded out. Go, Jace, go. Of the it's how you play the hand you're dealt. Jace has always been a cool planeswalker. I like, well, not all, I mean, this Jace, not all Jaces always, but this Jace has just never been played because of Big Teferi, basically. And so we're playing a deck that actually gets to play this Wielder of Mysteries. So that's pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 
I really like playing golf. Golf's one of my favorite sports. It's maybe my favorite sport to play. I definitely love me some golf. I I don't get to golf very much though these days. I I've probably only golfed one time in like the last like maybe twice in the last like two years. I really wish I could golf more. I used to. Um, I spent a couple of years of my life in an apartment complex on like right on a golf course, whereas like the parking lot, like right across the parking lot was like where where, where the clubhouse was, so I could just walk on over after work and just golf like like nine holes. You know, I was a member there, so I could just like golf nine holes before um, before the sun went down. Yeah, the new Brainstorm Cavalier, Cavalier of Gales. Very strong card. Unfortunate to play into Narset, but besides that, works quite well. Momentary set. Poor Jace. Still drew us a card and gained six life. Not bad, and took uh, milled over two cards with, with this deck with like Jace as like a, a main win con and of course with Nexus like you you do just want to mill over a lot of cards. You want to go, tough guy? Not really. There's no problem. Fire can't oh, my best handicap. Nothing too fancy. Uh, probably no. like. This is all just fifteen. Maybe my best. Yeah, a little bit better than Bogey Golf. I was the my big problem is I've I've never oh, been good at putting. It's you burning. Like I'll I have like the the game for show. I'm real good at driving. Got some pretty good irons, but around the around the green chipping and putting. Like, I'll just get it to, like, the green or the fringe or right around there in, like, two and then get a five. <laughs> that's that's always me. I have the the uh, the driving range game. Must think faster. Hmm. No, our, our opponent's doing a good job. They're playing the, the long game. Getting rid of my Planeswalkers. I, I really was hoping to untap with that Jace. Well, you'd rather bounce the Viachina Pyromancer than non-bounce. Stand by and watch. I've got it. Just having Narset and Teferi in play when you temporal sundering isn't super ideal. Oh, I guess I guess the the Chandra ultimate. Let's hmm. start it up. All right, I should have played Narset instead of Search. Basically, I wanted Search and play but before I Temporal Sundering, but I guess with the Chandra Ultimate, I guess we just had to cast the Temporal Sundering to bounce the Chandra. So I should have... I should have played Narset also. Yeah. I was thinking I had another turn before I had to Temporal Sundering the Chandra away, but I didn't. Sorry, I was just kind of talking. I thought I had one more turn. I didn't.
to sit this one out. That's more like it. One more card to fairy. Come on. I'd like to stay out of this, but I'll fight by my quell your temper. All right, we'll take some damage here. Ooh, not mine not minus seven ow not even killing the sky dancer that's how it was meant to happen That's hey, congratulations, Mizzy. That's really nice. A 36. That's really strong. Good job. Yeah, if they would have just minus seven the Chandra. I think we would have died. In fact, we would definitely would have died. Well, they so they didn't know about the wizard's lightning, right? Like they hit that off of the Chandra tick ups. They didn't know they were gonna have a one mana deal three at the time, but do not challenge a raging river. Right on schedule. Let's take it back. So better to get a four four or a tick up. Hmm. Is my domain. I'm the best fire starter there is. Yeah, one one extra turn spell isn't really gonna like. Yeah, like it'll. It'll help Moo from now, but it's not going to really you. save us. I would love to untap with Teferi, but with Firebrand, it's just not going to happen. Or maybe it will happen. Well then. Now an extra turn spell and we can go crazy. You know what? I'm not done yet. Alright, we need Temporal Sundering or Cleansing Nova. Just the trick for this. I guess it's just baffling end. Hmm. Did not find the extra turn spell. Ugh. Let's see. Yeah, it's just going to be baffling end. My 
My prowess is unmatched. I hone your prowess. We'll see if we get another turn or not. They have to hit a shock. Or they just have to hit any burn spell, you know. They have to hit a shock or... I mean, we, we win it. Well, we likely win if we get another turn. But, you know, they have the Chandra tick up, so they have whatever this card is. It can't be a shock. Ah, it's a shock. Come on. So the, pro the problem with doing the Baffling End on the Firebrand was they had two creatures that were going to be able to attack. And so, like, even, like, making a 4-4, like, we could only block, like, the Steamkin. We would have taken two from Vyoshino Pyromancer. So going this route meant we were only taking one. Man, that's really unfortunate. Not welcome here. Yeah, I mean, we could have Teferi tucked instead of Narset. I think Narset gave us a better chance to win. But yeah, I could have Teferi tucked again. Here are these Time Ravelers. Get rid of one Mox. Basically bringing the whole sideboard. All right, here we go. All right, as Kanta, find us removal. You can do it. Y'all were complaining about me taking up all the time. Opponent's taken four more minutes than us so far. Yeah, the Esper Flyers uh, felt pretty good. Yeah, it, it it did really well and everything, and yeah, I liked that deck quite a bit. So Dovin's Veto this turn would have been, would be the perfect time for light up the stage. But of course I, I really want this as Kanta in play, but you know, I'll, I'll regret not being able to veto a light up the stage here. But with them playing the the mountain first, I don't think they have it. You don't usually play your land before light up the stage. All right, another white source means that we got two white for cleansing Nova now. Yeah, clutch life point there with the Tranquil Cove. Yeah, I like game lands. I like scry lands too. I like lands doing stuff. Scry land would like actually help us find removal here, which could be worth a lot more than one point of life. But there's no blue white scry lands. So we're going with the game lands.
I don't I don't know why our opponent's playing so slow. I don't know. Taking up five more minutes. I don't know. All right, we want to find Lyra Dawnbringer or Cleansing Nova. Four cards over there. Or some more lands. So no time for a break. Speaking of lands, they do not have any. That's good news for us. Veto is a really good draw to help protect Hero of Dominaria. They need, you know, Chain Whirler or Haste Creature, or I mean, any of their creatures basically. Any non-steam can creature would finish off to fairy, but we'll see. They may go after us with us being at eleven. Yesterday, or sorry, last game, they were they definitely killed our planeswalkers a lot. Yeah, we'll be able to flip, or we'll be able to cast Nexus next turn anyway because of the untap with Teferi. <laughs> Does seem like yesterday, last game. We may run them out of time. Is that possible? I'll just cast this thing. Because I'll be tapping out for the Nexus anyway. And this does let me flip Ascanta. But I guess next turn I don't really want to flip Ascanta. Mm. Yeah, I should probably keep this. Let's skip to the good part. the pace clutch life gain yeah cove was actually a really good draw now we can activate as cancer of course because of the untap Cannot play both of those. Right? Five. No, we can't play both. Lyra and Nexus. Let's just cast the Nexus. Which I should be... Honestly, I should be casting the Nexus before I draw a card with the fairy. I mean, honestly, I should be casting it. Hmm. I don't really see how... Uh, so I guess I'm just going to die to... Uh, I guess I just died to Lightning Strike. I 
I could really use a Tranquil Cove. I, I only have one other counter in the deck. It's just not very likely that we draw a counter spell. With each turn of the clock, your reality will crumble. Tranquil Cove. I'm no you know what? I'm not done yet. Only time will tell. We hope they're out of burn spells. Hope they just have like the four mana cards left in their hand. That thing almost kills us. Now a shot kills us now. Already played a couple shocks though. We need to move quickly. Tranquil Cove. It's a good one. This is hardly my worst defeat. Our three tranquil coves. I think those were the three tranquil coves helped out a little bit. All right, game number three. Way to go, Delotrius, taking that Garul decklist back to Diamond. Good job. Yeah, yeah, actually, this deck, good call, Storm. I probably should be playing, like, four Interplanar Beacons. Yeah, honestly, Interplanar Beacon, you know, that, would help, that helps cast Jace. Yeah, maybe we should be playing some interplanar beacons in here. No, no Leyline of Sanctity. Leyline of Sanctity would be really good here in this matchup. But I don't have one. It does make, yeah, it makes Moon Yanling's ultimate worse. Uh, interplanar beacon, that is. All right, let's see. Spend my way to love. Should have kept the seven card hand, I suppose. Well, we'll try. Well, they kept a one lander. Maybe we can get there. No, darn.
Yeah, honestly, our seven card hand probably would have won this. You know, we'd have had turn two as Kanta, then we'd have the Cleansing Nova. It looks like we would have had extra time as Kanta find something. I don't know, I, I would have liked our chances with the, you know, the as Kanta to find some kind of interaction on turn three or four, and then Cleansing Nova on five. Nice, Dr. K. Sultai self mill. I like it. Ooh, maybe we still got a chance. I'm always a step ahead. Yeah, definitely hoping they kill Jace. Or yeah. Right? Yeah. No. Try this. So I'm at four. I just gotta hope they have creatures. You know, if they have creatures, not burn spells, we'll win. Burn spells we're not gonna beat. They only need one three damage burn spell, of course. Because of the fire brand. But if we don't die, if they don't have the three damage burn spell, they just have creatures. You know, have like Chain Whirlers and Chandra's and Frenzy. Uh, those three cards Chain Whirler, Chandra, Frenzy. Okay. So now do I attack with Dawnbringer? Probably have to, right? Wow, that is a terrible attack. Do I just want to block the Firebrand? No, we'll block this thing over here. It's a matter of give and take. Let's slow this. No time for a break. We got this one covered now. Well, it turns out even if our, if our opponent didn't attack, we drew very well. That card's not going to kill us. This is just going to be bad for you. All right, we are 2 and 0. Oh. This game seemed like it took so long. All right, I want to cast this first, shuffle it back in before we draw extra cards. Let's think this. Through. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, that was their exact line of play, Jane Will or Chandra. Hold that thought. So that's calling of something that we could beat. Yep. Settles GG. We got this. This will come in handy. Good. 
Keep up the pace. The mind is a tempest that can be controlled. The sky is my domain. Good job, Moo. This may be a really long league. Maybe I shouldn't have run this back. So if these games are taking this long, if we like, you know, go to the full six matches here, this this being match number two. Just need to play against people that play faster. I'll have to erase that memory. It's got to be a 24-hour stream now. All right. Victory. No, no competitive metagame challenge anymore. Bleh. Oh, wait. That's a cosmetic. Sweet. We got a cosmetic, a pack, some XP. Got a couple of packs. Let's crack them open, see if we get any mythics. Nope. Mythic rare. Mythic rare. All right, we got temple, and we got the <clears throat> got the mythic uh, wild card from opening packs anyway, so we're good. You have risen is basically a mythic. Oh yeah, I definitely had some lucky draws there. I mean, we, we mulligan to four. Yeah, we're going to need lucky draws when we to win a game after we mulligan to four. Stormkin. We were just talking about you, Storm Queen. We just got your cosmetic. Yeah, we could be getting Risen Reefed. Ugh. Aw, the Ember Kitty. Bounce kitty. I'll protect you. We don't want the kitty to get wrath. That'd be mean. Let's see some panic in the streets. I bow to no one. Oh, six mana Chandra is a problem for us. Seen that, coming. that emblem. Yeah, that card's kind of a problem for us. The, only authority that I the metagame challenge is, is finished. It was only just Friday and Saturday. There are no more 
it's not an event anymore. I've run out of time for metagame challenge. Seven. Hmm, that thing costs four mana. Can't baffling end that. I, was raised by I guess I could Teferi oh, Tuck, I suppose. I could go that Teferi, bounce it. And what, and Narset? But then I'd have to shock. Let's just go this Teferi Tuck. This isn't a fight you can win. I'm not ready for this quite yet. No, I didn't reach seven wins in the challenge. Correct, Ripper. Correct. Hey, Mayors. Thank you so much. Yeah, our deck's working pretty good here. Yeah, so we're, we're just, just straight up blue-white. And the goal of our deck is to um, play a lot of the extra turn spells over and over with these Planeswalkers. And it's going pretty good here. Again, this Wielder of Mysteries. All we have to do is just find our extra turn stuff now. I think we're going to get this game. Yeah, we should have this game. The focused and disciplined in how meditate and prepare. New turn. Bounce that. Perfect. Put thoughtfulness before action. When I keep looking, you, we keep looking for for Nexus first before playing this card. Wait, uh, I guess I can't. Yeah, I won't be able to play Nexus with the Azkant activation, but we'll still activate for that. Okay. Pond scooped it up. No, yeah, we can... So, yeah, our win, win cons are either... Uh, yeah, mill ourselves out and have Jace, or Moo Yanling make a 4-4. Four -four. And... Um, do that or yeah or Teferi's also a win con so yeah so Teferi, Jace, Mu Yanling those are win cons yeah we played against one flash deck earlier it beat us up we did go 0-2 with this deck to start with in a fast league and so I redid the league afterwards I don't know, Mox Amber is cool. Yeah, we're gonna have mono black mid range up next. Hey, Radical Guru. Yeah, yeah, definitely consider Seal Away instead of Baffling End, but I want Baffling End to be able to get creatures that don't have to attack. 
to be strong, you know, cards like um, Benelish Marshall or Risen Reef or, you know, things like that. Like, I want to be able to get those cards immediately whenever they play them. Instead of having to rely on them attacking with the card. You know, like right now, if we had it, you know, like getting mana creatures, baffling in that thing would be a better than Seal Away, for example. Alright, move play some good defense. Do not challenge a raging river. Hmm. This is gonna be tough. And we'll we'll have cleansing nova, you know, another turn. I guess, I guess I don't get to actually don't get to actually play Jace this next turn. All stones this could be gain three life. Could be gain three important life. Keep an open mind. The big problem, of course, with taking Narset is it's not a land. You know, we still need a land. So now I have just this turn with the two looks to hit a land drop. Even cleansing Nova away everything, they're going to still just have more cards because there is a Risen Reef. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 17. Now. Hmm. Didn't get the land. Alright, well, I guess I got punished for keeping the Narset. curves really high. Yeah, I mean, yeah, in hindsight, I should have played Jace. Would have taken more damage instead of me and been a lot better chance of us drawing a land. Yeah, I like I like Moo for a three mana planeswalker. It's definitely my favorite. Yeah, Storm, yeah. Yeah, if you want to play this in best of one, you couldn't play Nexus, so then, yeah, playing Lyra main deck. That could work. The 
those who cannot forget. I have just the trick for this. So we'd want to find one of our planeswalkers that uh, hey, get to like tick up and draw a card before we play all these things. Friends. Ideally. I think we're pretty dead here though to this Risen Reef. That's a that's a great card for them to have in this situation that Chandra you know kills the Narset and draws two. I shall miss your company. Been a great time to draw Ixalan's Binding for Risen Reef, though. That would have been a great time for that. Let's see. Yep. No, I mean, that's that's the deck that I was playing the competitive meta metagame challenge. was definitely all about Chandra and Risen Reef. All right, let's go to the next one. Good game. We're not like 100% dead there, but honestly, we've just been playing this deck for a while. We are like 95% dead. So we'll just pick it up and go. But yeah, that's why I brought in the bindings. I wanted to try to get Risen Reef with binding. I'm either getting rid of Baffling End or Cleansing Nova. I'm going to keep the Planeswalkers. Yeah, Nova. You will know to re reprint, reprint Quicken? Quicken's a good one. Prove your skill, and I can teach you. Learn some respect. All right, start leveling up, Mu Yanling. See if we got a creature deck or a Nexus deck. It's kind of feeling like a Nexus deck. Could just be the Flash deck, I suppose. It's probably the Flash deck. Yep. Hmm. Beauty in the ordinary. No, why the tap to land? Bow to the howling wind. Bounce your own baffling out with the fairy, gave your opponent a dinosaur, and then played Cleansing Nova. Nice. There you go. And now you can reuse your baffling end. Perfect. And this quest was unfortunate. won't hide from the world. Let's skip to the good part. Boo. It's only a matter of time.
All right, they got me. Uh, I guess I need all these. Get rid of all those. Yeah, this this is definitely a rough matchup for us. We lost this one earlier. Um, counter counter spells are like the best thing against against me. That's that's the best thing. I mean, obviously, Risen Reef is just an incredible magic card. That was the other thing we lost too. But yeah, counter spells. My deck is not really built to beat counter spells too well. I bet this deck would have been pretty good the end of last format whenever nobody was playing counter spells like the esper like the command the dreadhorde decks and everything should have made this deck this this wasn't real this doesn't really have very much from m20 you know like it's just like moo yanling which doesn't really need to be there uh yeah two ways to find the decks from yesterday you can either go to the stream decker page that has all the decks on there or you can go to the youtube channel and check out um any of the decks on youtube they have links to the deck lists on the YouTube channel there. This isn't this hand is not winning. This like we're not winning this game. We're gonna hit land drops. Better than a lot of games we've had. We're not really going to win this matchup anyway, though, so kind of given up here to go on to the next deck <laughs> since we've been playing this deck for like two hours now. But we've seen with this, with me only having 24 lands that we have struggled playing all of our lands. Like, you know, actually like hitting land drops and playing all of our spells and this hand can can do that. It can hit all its land drops and play play spells. Yeah, I like this deck too, Storm. There's a lot of people that don't like the deck though. But I mean this is also just a really tough matchup for us. Hey Mitchin. And this is our second league with the deck. So if I I don't want to play anything here, I really didn't want to play any of these cards. But the problem with with not playing something is if they have Night Pack Ambusher, then I would completely regret not playing something. So it's like if they, if they have Frilled Mystic, then I feel bad for playing stuff. If they have Night Pack Ambusher, then I regret not playing anything. It's a tough call there. Yeah, Simic Flash feels like a really, really strong deck every time I play against it. Uh, they don't really have... It doesn't seem... Like, it seems like all their their games work really, really well. You know, like, they always have, like, the threats and, and the counter spells and, and a good assortment of the two. 
Always seems to be a very strong deck. But yeah, that's Azorius Legends. Um, you know, something different. Uh, if you like, if you want to play your extra, all your extra turn stuff and your moxes, you know, as as we talked about at the beginning, the where this deck kind of came from is trying to, um, you know, I was looking through cards that that uh, from previous sets that didn't really get their love, and so trying to maximize Mox Amber, uh, give it like a reason to see play to 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 fill the curve in the mid game to help help you ramp into the late game. And I think this is a really good use for Mox Amber there. Um, but uh, blue white was definitely better than mono blue with the deck. That's for sure. Um, but yeah, counter spells are just going to be the, the downfall of this deck and that's okay. Like going to have like a, when you're playing a bunch of expensive sorcery speed stuff, which is what all these Planeswalkers and Karn's Temporal Centerings are and stuff like that, you're going to be really, really weak to counter magic. And that's what our deck is. And it's okay to, to have a weakness. And you're not going to beat everything. But we gave Mox Amber a good home here. So that, that was a the goal there. All right. Uh, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it here for Azorius Legends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for another video.